Hey! Today is December 6th, 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 gosh, the month is flying by, Christmas is practically here, um, people said I'm doing the pomegranate thing wrong, we will test the Jamie Oliver method for, uh, I can't talk right now. I'm gonna cut the pomegranate in half horizontally and just just spank it, as, as Jamie Oliver says, to get the seeds out. It looks like it's gonna create a big mess, but I'm willing to try it. Thank you for suggestions, everyone. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. Okay, to try to minimize the mess here, I'm gonna use a sharp chef's knife, which I tried to straighten the edge of it a little bit right before this. So, go ahead and do this down thy center. Straight down, it's, it's bleeding out horribly, but I tried not to stain this cloth. Large spoon. I don't know about this. This is probably just beating up the seeds. Okay, it's starting to go. Everyone lied and this is a disaster. I hate this. This is horrible. No, 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 this isn't a thing. It's not even a thing. Yeah, that's gonna be a no from me, dog. But thank you. Okay, I got the rest of the seeds out. You know what? I think it was just a particularly ripe pomegranate. Uh, it's just very, very dark, very soft, very juicy, and that's why it mainly didn't work. The one that I opened the other day was quite firm and it was definitely an easier time. That, that, I probably would have had a better time with that one. I'm trying to do that technique. So I don't blame anyone, it's fine. Whew, it's dark. I'm gonna be going live later at 5 p.m. Well, it's going to have already happened by the time this video goes up, so don't go looking for it. But uh, for right now, I'm gonna play some Doom. Ooh, my screen is like, my camera was all blah. So I'm about to play some Doom then. Uh, oh, I do wanna work on that um, drawing things from memory video today at some point, but I haven't played Doom in a little bit, so. Doom time. Hey, I've played Doom for a good long while. Let me tell you, I'm setting up for the stream now. I got 24 minutes. Um, I changed some stuff around in my room, just a little bit, I'm working on it. Um, moved the ring lights front and center here, set it up so I can hook the, uh, camera that I use up to it. I can't use it for the live streams because the camera is older and it doesn't support streaming to the computer uh, such as a webcam would. But I downloaded the driver for this Logitech webcam and it finally was able to like balance some of the exposure and stuff. Looks a lot better. Um, hopefully it, it doesn't get all messed up because now it's not on auto anymore, but suppose we'll see. Hi, 
the live stream was a lot of fun. I had a great time. It was nice. It's been a while. I haven't chatted with people in the live stream doing a reaction, so it was fun. Oh, I just did this. Hello, how are you? Um, Jamie's going to be coming over. We might pick up some Moe's for dinner. That would be pretty epic. It's been a long time since I had some Moe's. Which is, if you don't know, um, just like Mexican food. Just probably get a burrito or a bowl or something. Classic. It's lit. That's the day. I know it's, um, eh, it's been pretty low energy. But it's just kind of one of those days I just been doing a bunch of laundry, I played the game for a couple hours, I did a live stream, and, you know, you just need one of these chill days, it's Friday, a, I'm rambling, and I don't like this, I don't like who I've become in this video. We picked up our mows, I got myself, what was, it? what do they call it, a stack, it's basically like a giant crunch wrap. We're watching some Michael B. Petty, his live stream. I'm sure we'll continue to watch as we eat our Moe's. It's been a long time since I had freaking Moe's. I'm freaking excited. I don't know about you, buddy. They got tofu there. It's pretty lit. Pretty lit. Because they literally consider this their job. They think it's their job to <laughs> eat on camera. Right? And so it's looking. This is my thing. Oh, the, the, I forgot they don't cut it. It'll be fine. Jamie's bowl must be nice. Looks delish. We got a ton of chips. 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 Thank you, Moe's. Oh, I'll get it. Thank you for reminding me. They sealed it with cheese. Are you kidding? I'm going to see if I can just peel it off and hopefully there's not more in there. That's so weird. You really think it is? Yeah, that's how they do it. Let me see, hold that on. Sucks. Coming with f***ing queso. Dead to me. Dead to me. Dead to me. Moe's. Well, at least we got a lot of chips I could eat. Still watching Michael. Jamie insisted I uh, split her bowl with her. Because there was plenty there, lots of rice. Thank you very much, Jamie. You're an angel. From heaven above. You're perfect so in every way. Yes. Am I buttering you up for the camera? Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Never, no, that's not that true. With, with that's camera. not yes, true. No, yes, no, no. Cheese is cheese. Nice. I got a five-star Gigantamax Snorlax. Look at those stats. Look at the Dynamax level. Damn, he thick. Okay, it's time for the comments of the day. Let's see what y'all commented on. Delicious dinner recipe. Not really. Vlogmas day five. I already got like two minutes into this, but then my phone like was out of space because uh, I forgot to delete the like recently deleted section in my photos because as you know, this daily vlogging is taking up lots of space and time and stuff. So I, I ran out and it just like, usually it just stops the video, but they like crashed the app, the camera app for some reason. So that was a loss, I guess. Interesting. Um, oh, that's so annoying. Anyway, Ur Goblin says, quote, it was good on the sweet potatoes, though. I, fair enough. Willow, what's the superior pasta shape? I vote penne because they are the perfect sauce vessel. That quote was uh, relating to the cranberry sauce that I was po uh, pondering if I should put it on my oatmeal, but then I put it on sweet potatoes and it was good. Um, it's so annoying. I, I already like, answered a few of these. Um, the superior pasta shape. Jamie said uh, she likes rigatoni, just classic rigatoni. I said lately I've been liking, it was cavatappi, right? Yeah. I've been liking cavatappi lately. 
Jamie also likes a good rotini, the spirally one. But yeah, Penny is great. Vanessa B says, I'm officially a Willow Davis daily Vlogmas watcher. Thank you very much for joining the club. Abby Rye says, thanks for not being a dry girl and using olive oil on your pasta. Yeah, you know it. You know I'm all about that olive oil. Keep it from sticking together. Unless I'm trying to do like a, like a low fat type situation. If I'm doing like a sauce with no oil or something sometimes i'll just throw the sauce on right away when it's done so that way it doesn't stick together doesn't help that much brianna lee says you should paint yourself green then sing you're a mean one mr grinch it would be iconic true that that would be a, a whole lot but uh it's an interesting i don't know i'm not i'm not that much of a bass i can kind of get down there but it's like a little like artificial sounding in my opinion but lit a says, I thought someone was creeping in your house behind you at 6.52, lol. Oh, God, what is that? Let me click. Oh, my God, that is scary. It was like a, a little um statue of, like, who is that, St. Joseph or something? I don't know. I don't know who these people are, to be completely honest. Yeah, that was, I, I didn't even consider that. My God, that was scary. Thank you, A. Um, Bravo. 795 MP says, I do blue LED bulb lights with blue, silver, purple balls. I found a Yeti-inspired tree I plan on doing when I get my next apartment. One year, I stuffed a real six-foot tree in ambulance and carried it on a stretcher between calls and dragged into my house. You should have seen everyone's faces at the tree place. Still have a picture. Love your hectic tree. That's what I used to. Wow, that is quite a story. You brought a, a Christmas tree between calls and your ambulance. That's pretty, that's pretty epic. That is some Christmas dedication right there. Gabby Martinez says, you are my favorite vlogger. I just want you to know that. You go, you're going to go far on this platform because of your genuine and lovable character. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Gabby. That's very nice of you. Ch Chitwan Johnson, please tell me if I said that correctly. We love Willow cooking real food. It must be nice, LOL. Yeah, real, the, like, things that I just had lying around in my kitchen. Thanks. Sandra Hallbrook says, Random, but you're always drinking a delicious beverage in your vlogs, and I've recently been obsessed with the snowberry flavor of the peace tea. That's so good. Have you tried it before? Yes, I have. I feel like you would like it, too. Thank you very much for thinking of me. You must know me very well, because I do love the snowberry peace tea. I love any can of iced tea is is just so delicious i wish um more of the arizonas were vegan unfortunately a lot of them have honey in them such as the green tea the um the like rx elixir or whatever it is they have i used to love that so much the like rx energy it is or something that is so good but um it has honey in it i think but I think one of my one of my go tos from the Arizona stuff lately is uh, the sweet apple. Especially the place I get it from, their fridge is ice, ice cold. Oh my god, so good. Kelsey's Corner says, "Can we just call your vlog Miss Willow Miss? Cause that it's that great." Oh, thank. You. Oh, that's a, uh, if I wish that would actually like uh, make sense to people, but uh. I don't think I don't think I'm there yet to have my own name for Vlogmas. Ev Ramble says Jiffy makes a vegan cornbread now. By the way, my daughter makes a corn casserole and found that the original use animal lard. Oh, interesting. Ooh, I would like to make some cornbread. I haven't had cornbread in a long freaking time. I like to add little bits of jalapeno to it. I don't know about y'all, but thank you for the tip outspoken oaken says i too do not have standards for breakfast yeah i'll just eat whatever is around that i feel like eating it doesn't have to be breakfast food i don't think that's really like a thing i mean i do like breakfast food from time to time but i certainly don't limit myself to eating it at breakfast or limit myself to only eating breakfast food for breakfast that's why i so often just have like a bowl of rice with tomato sauce for breakfast so anyway there you go, a couple of comments from the last vlog. If you uh, 
want to possibly be uh, featured one of your comments, you know, comment down below on this one. And I'll be reading them in the next Vlogmas. So, anyway, I'll be seeing you there. This has been Vlogmas. What was this? Yesterday was the 5th, so this was the 6th Vlogmas. So I'll see you here tomorrow for the next one. Willow Davis, out.